So today, YouTubers, I'm going to basically am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to digitally paint basically on uh, open canvas on how to blend colors and blend skin basically. So what I'm what I did here is a real character right here, which I'm showing you right here. And this is what I've actually created on open canvas right here, right here, was this actual thing itself. So I created this on open canvas basically. So basically what I'm going to be showing you t here today is how to paint the skin. And I'm going to be showing you a, a quick tutorial on these two pieces right here. And let's say, for example, these two pieces, you're right, right here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing two layers, one for this leg, I would say. I mean, I already got the color already selected out, which right here you just select out the right skin layer color, I would say. And that's what you would do on one leg, like that, on the other leg. And you're right, you would make a second leg for the very, very top right there. And this, you're right, could be, you're right, the arm itself. So you don't get that mixed up with, let's say, anything. The arm. Because at the end, you're going to be erasing this stuff itself. So let's say this could be, right, the arm in this chest. The arm in the chest. And then the face, I think. Which I'm going to select right here. And then on, you know, I think I can add this on to one layer. I think so. I'm going to do that. So the only reason why I added two layers for the leg, I would say, is because these are going to be separate pieces right here. So that's why I did that. So I made sure that all the skin was selected for this, I would say, and... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and and uh, select this itself, I think. I'm going to call this shading color. So I'm going to select this, I would say. And on this, I would say I'm going to select this and I'm going to go into swatches. And I'm going to add that. And on the second layer, I might just like kind of like, you know, make like a second layer right here. And this is kind of a paint, a technique. So you would go into here and you would paint a whole bunch of sw swashes like that. So when you select it, you can select it like that. And you're right, you would go into here and you're right, select a darker color like this. And you write uh, around two colors like that. And you write, we're going to select a very, very light source like this. So when we add a light source, we can add that like that. So there's literally basically around, I would say, I would say around, let's say, around five different tones of color, I would say. That we work in actually around four different tones of shading color but i would say five different tones like a, a good a good general estimate i would say so now what we're going to do is go into here we're going to select the first tone of color right here and start like adding Maybe basically like lower down the hardness, I would say. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it down to hardness to proxy around, let's say around 80. Trying to think how this is going to work. So I don't really like how the way that looks, I would say. Trying to think how this is going to work. Probably I would have to use more of an airbrush like this. I would say. Bring up the hardness. Bring that up to around 80. Like that. Opacity. Yeah, this one is the right one to use. That's definitely the right one to use, I would say. Because that's more for pencil. So we would use that for drawing. But what we want to try to use mainly is the airbrush, I would say. The airbrush, you're right, is the main thing what we should use. Bring down the minimum size, you're right, to around zero. Like that. And you're right, we want to lower down the capacity to around, around 10. 20 like that like that so we get a, a nice subtle look and you're right we're just going to start making this larger i think and you're right start painting on this side Just like random colors, just paint like random strokes like that. And you're right, we, we could always edit this in the future, I would say. Because what I'm going to show you is a very, very, very advanced technique. So we go like that. And we would make the brush even larger right there, definitely for sure. And you're right, we would kind of draw out the leg right there. And don't worry, we're going to be blending that in the future, I would say. Definitely for sure. And kind of draw out the leg 
right here. And we're going to add right this right here and kind of draw this one leg right here that's going to go right here like that And you're right, what we're going to be doing here is start blending the colors together. Actually, I might actually redo this again. I might kind of put that on the top right there. And I might try to do this. Because depending on how the layers work, you want to try to have this in a certain way. Definitely for sure. So your main purpose, you're right is to get the ideal feel. So this I'm gonna start with a lower layer and I'm probably gonna start brushing this area in like that. Get dark color like that in there. And you I start doing that like that, I would say. And then what we're going to try to do is um, on a new layer on top, we're definitely going to hide that. We're going to take, let's say, for example, I would say, let's say um, this color or that color. And, you're, and we're going to start blending this together like that. At a very, very low capacity rate, like that. Actually, we're going to actually increase the size of that. Because you're right, we want this to be at even like that, I would say. So, that I would say is just about good. So now we're going to go into here and you're right, start like So like that. So when we add that onto there, which I kind of like that, how the way it looks. Now, now what we're going to do is start working on 
adding that on top like that. So that would be, you're right, add it on there. And you're right, what we're going to do is select this. And so we want to make sure that this is on the top layer like that. Maybe I'm going to lower down the pressure like that to around 30. Just at the very bottom right there, and that's it, pretty much. And you're right, you would 
and this is what you would kind of do. So what I kind of did was I kind of actually use the eyedropper tool by actually pressing the Alt key. And this is actually selects the color. So this is the reason why I do this. And then I select that. And then that's what I did basically. So I, what I did right here is I made layers on top. And actually just kind of keep making layers on top while I kind of blend together. Together. And this is what like keeps the color at a stable pace or so. So I'm going to bring that down to 5. Bring that down to 10, actually bring the pressure to 2, like that, 3, like that, and you're right, uh, I'm going to try to, you know, just add color in here, like that, and Kind of add your right color in here, and you're right on it on a top layer. You're right. You're gonna blend these together, which you're gonna make another layer, and that's where you're gonna add your right the eyedropper tool. So you're gonna probably lower it down the size of capacity, and you're right. You're gonna select that and kind of like and just bring up minimum size like that. So the minimum of size I bring so it doesn't do like, you're right, a sophisticated point. So it keeps like the colors still in a way. So you're right, I would add that basically. It only works if you like, let's say have another thing. And then if you try like different things, like darken like that. Try luminosity. So there's 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 a layer blending that you could probably do. So if you try like you write luminosity, it could actually blend these together like that on this program. And that's what you would do basically. And then the layers all blended. Maybe I can get rid of that big stroke line like that. But yeah, you would use a smaller brush like that. And it just kind of does a job like that pretty much. And then you would kind of do your right the same sophisticated thing right here. With a smaller brush. And this is what you would do. And that's what you would do basically right there. And put 
place that there. And you're right, you're going to go into to new layer, I would say, and you're going to add like a darker color like this, a dark tone like that. Just to give it that tone. And then the, the final special effects, you're right, is the highlights. And the highlights will make this turn good. Actually, I might go through that and use more of a smaller brush. Smaller brush is more easier to control. The more smaller the brush is, the more harder the denser the line is. Even if you have like a soft airbrush, I would say, a super soft airbrush, the, the smaller the brush is, the more harder the dense the line is. And tie the truth. And that's what you would kind of do. And then you have, you're right, this one skin tone already done. I mean, I'm, I might try to lighten that up or so once it's done, but just like get the general tone at, down like that. And you're right, what you would do, you're right, is you would go into here and the only thing you would do now is go into here. And just go go straight here and go merge down and just merge all of these down because once you know it's already done you would go into here and merge these down and that's what we would do And then the thing what we would do, honestly, after, is you're right, we hide that. We would go into here, for example, to this one right here, and we would hit an eraser tool and just erase the axis remaining layer like that. And just erase all of that. I mean, you could make a mass but this this can do once you if you don't have a mass, for example. this I would say and and just remove that I would say And just like select all of that basically. And select that basically. And that's what we would have right there, I would say. And then we're gonna go into the shading and you write delete dot, I would say. And just select this, I would say. And this is where the shading would go. So we, we would just delete the axis remaining sh shading layer.
or a better way to do this, I'm going to be honest, is you're right, we would go into here. We would ma mainly would select this thing right here, and if there's nothing selected, we would select that entire thing. We would go inverse, like that. So when we hit, hit inverse, the entire thing is already selected that's outside from this selection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, and you're right, we're going to actually delete that. For example, and delete that one layer. That's what you would do. So once you have that all done, that's what you would do. And that's already done. And you're right, any access layer, you're right, we would go into here and clean it up with a brush, I would say. Just like that, pretty much. This, I would say. That's what I would do, and there, there we have it. We have the one leg already done. Ready to be used, and then, you're right, we would have to do, you're right, the other leg. And once we're done that, you're right, we're going to start, like, getting this all together, and getting this together, and... and that's it. That's what we would do right there, and that's how we do it right there, I would say. And, right, we would hide this and that. And you're right, I would make new layer. And this layer right here, I'm going to go into layer property and make sure that we don't edit this. So we're going to apply this to be, let's say, a blue color, for example, right there. Actually, we're going to actually apply this layer property, a blue color. And actually select this, and we're going to actually do layer property and make this, like, none right there. So how much time I have? 30 minutes. I guess I can go a little bit more until I can finish this leg. And then after I'm finished this one leg, I might just do kind of a speed run show, like... A speed one basically just doing basically the entire the entire basically body with music going on at the same time just to show you basically what to do basically I would say so um, it's just like that we would kind of re repeat the same process so on this new layer you're right we would select this I would say And this is what we would do. So we would kind of go into here and... Because I don't want to make this video too long. So I just want to select what is the main necessary, necessary things. So... You're right, we would go into here and... Bring that down to one. And we're going to select this right here and select this one tutorial right here. Select that right here and select this right here and select that right there.
And you're right, we would go into this very top layer right here and kind of select this right here and just kind of draw out the line that's going to go right here. And you, one of the things what we're going to probably do is probably turn this off, turn that off, and we're going to start working with this, I would say, and start going into here. And going into here, top layer. So that's pretty good. So that works perfectly fine. I mean, this is a more easier area. So we would select that. And this is what, what you would do. You're right. You would use like a smaller color and just like kind of like. I just switch this over to tablet, to a different tablet setting, I would say. So like that, so you see how it's blended all together. So now since that's done, we're going to add this on top. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this, I would say. And, and make new layer. So like that. So we're actually going to lower down the right the size of this brush to make sure that is a good size and
So we make sure we select the very top layer right there. And that's what we have right there ready to be used. So now what we want to try to do is select this color. And you're right, we're going to start selecting the inner layer right here, I think. And like that. So I want to see how much time we have. I mean, this is a good general 40 minutes, I would say. That shows you how this is run, I would say. Which I'm trying to make this as short as possible. So you're right, we would kind of like... So sometimes if, if it doesn't paint, you would have to, you're right, do another layer on top randomly. And like this, I would say, like that. So like that. And so we have that all selected in place. So now what we're we're gonna do is go into here and go merge down, I would say merge down, merge down, and merge this all the way down to here. So this one you're gonna probably put this as a layer property. And you're going to probably turn this here right to a red color or so. Just picking a random color. Merge down. Merge down. Merge down. And you, you just kind of constantly do this until you um, get the ideal color. So this is what, what, we, what we definitely need right here. Is that shading right there to be as one layer. So that's what we do. And then what we're going to do is select So 
So we're going to select this one layer right here that holds that texture. We're going to select that and we're going to turn off the shadowing. And we're going to start going over with, with a large eraser brush like this. Like that. And kind of delete the axis layers of airbrush paint. Okay, so this is what we would do, and that's it. Look at that. That's what we would do, and then what we would do is we go into the Magic Wong tool right there, and we go into here, and we go Invert Selected, and you're right, we just delete that like that. And go deselect like that. So when we add this right here and that, that's what it looks like so far. So you're right, we would go into here and we would go merge down like this. And that's the blue. And we would kind of repeat the process. Let's say for this right here. We will repeat the process you write for this right here and do kind of the exact same thing. So when we erase some of this little bits right here, that's what we would do every single time. And we would do that. And before you know it, you'll have the skin done in under a short period of time, for example. And the reason why I choose a dark tone for this and the reason why I would say is... To, to, to get out the color itself so you can see a darker tone of color in a white background. So once you, once you get the, the general shading out of the way, then you can readjust the, the skin tone, everything like that, by going into filters, you know, ab adjust right here and change it, the skin tone to like, let's say brightness, contrast, go like a little bit of brightness like that. Like that and make it more white skin skin tone. Like that you can do if you wanted to. These are things that you could already do once you have the main skin tone already done. But my main purpose is getting out the, the general thing painted. So that's what we would normally would do pretty much. And that's what we would normally would do. So that's one of the characters done, I would say. So I'm just going to go in here and go save right here. And that's it, I would say. So that's what we would do right there, and that's what we would mainly would do right there, I would say. Right there, I would say. So 
so I guess that's it with the tutorial, I would say. The only thing what I'm going to probably do with the skin texture is, like, kind of do a speed through of, of the painting itself. Like, a very, very fast speed through of the thing itself. And then the next tutorial, I might try to... is it, And then in the next tutorial, I might try to add the light source onto there and stuff like that or so. So I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like this and I hope you can really enjoy this tutorial itself. And thank you, goodbye, and thanks for watching this tutorial and thanks for watching my own tutorial on how to do digital painting and digital art. And I hope you can enjoy this tutorial a lot and I hope you really enjoy it. And thanks for watching this. So... I'm not really done this tutorial yet. I'm going to actually finish this up and I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to actually basically start showing you the speed through basically of how, how this is digitally painted and I'm going to speed through this, this digital painting tutorial. You got the general idea and you're going to watch how I do this and then, and then basically I'm going to actually basically pause it and show you how to do the light source. And then after that, I'm going to speed through the entire tutorial very fast on how to digitally paint this thing itself. And then what then what we're going to be doing, basically, you're right, is we're going to actually start, end up basically um, stopping the tutorial, let's say, for example, right there. And I'm, as I speed through, I'm going to add, play a little bit of my own music and play my own music, everything like that as I actually speed through the entire tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna actually end up doing. So I'm actually gonna actually stop this and pause this and actually start recording this and start speeding through this. And I'm gonna start speeding through this right now, actually, and play the music right now tutorial. So I'm gonna be doing a speed painting on um, how to do the skin on this character and with the last tutorial, I showed you basically how to do the skin, how to blend the textures together, everything, and how to put the textures together. So now I'm just going to be doing like kind of a speed paint on how to do this character and how to do the texture of this character itself, basically. So, so once I'm done the speed paint, um, which I'm going to be playing some music while I'm basically doing the speed paint. So on the next tutorial, we're going to be working more on the clothing suit itself, more on the boots itself. And the tutorial on that, we're going to work on the, the top piece right there. And another tutorial, we're going to work on the accessories on, on the object itself kind of the accessories itself and kind of like the smoke and all that and that's what we're going to do itself and then after we're going to work on the background background of the image itself so on the rest of the tutorial I think I might try to do the tutorial itself so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get started on the skin. So stay, keep washing. Now, now it's going to be start beginning basically the speed painting process.
Back again, back again, back again, back again. Back again. 